Welcome to episode 7 of this Factorio. Welcome to another day of Factorio. <laughs> We've been doing this for a few days long, you know. <laughs> well, don't worry. We're gonna do that uh, a little bit more. Uh, what I'm doing right now is upgrading the um, production of plates. Uh, our copper plates and iron plates. Because, uh, well, I have enough of it. It's getting annoying that they don't uh, are not stacked up fully that they are not backing up and that kind of stuff uh, I need to work on this later let's first try to get this side working I guess like that and then we make these work too it's pretty annoying that you want to grab uh, some copper plates they ain't there and if you want some iron plates well they are not there too and that's getting annoyed so uh, I just want to get that sorted and get that fixed and so I want to create uh, to hire up the plate production by a lot and that also means uh, iron production upgrade and well it's going to take some time I guess so what I started to make is like 43 mining drills or something electric mining drills uh, a lot of furnaces and more stuff just to make sure that these will keep up in the future somewhere uh, but for now let's just finish this and uh, put down all these inserters they are really uh, there's a ton of those and we need to give them power too but that won't be a big problem because I already sorted it out how to do that and we are creating more power poles in my inventory so Hashtag I don't use the lazy best bust. I'm not trying to get the lazy bastard uh, achievements Although it's not really lazy You guys you need to do a lot to get that achievement Believe me so we now run out of that. So what we're gonna do Is add a row of here just to get a little bit more copper ore Gonna rearrange this stuff because it's pretty annoying that it's arranged like that. Change that around to the ear. And then we're going to add these one one away. Remove the power poles. There's one away gap for... Um, so you can do it like that. And to add power poles in between. If you wonder why I do that. And it, although it, they mine their own size plus one, so the mine of five by five area, so it's not a problem at all. So there's nothing to be fixed or something. Or that I miss stuff, it's all fine. Like that, and then this one goes that way. We add a few more poles right here. One there and one here. And that will make more copper come true and that will probably fill the whole thing for now. But let's start placing these down. Have some research to be done. Uh, do that research. And then do another array. Alright, going fine. So this needs to be sorted later on, but not for now. I want to do that stuff. Uh, we first want to get this working. Um, so we want to get those sides. And there, and there, and there, and there, and another one there. That would start the production up. <laughs> Uh, but the problem here is that I need to find the middle and then connect it uh, a different way. So where is the middle around? You can see the better here. One, two, three, four. A little bit lower than when I stand somewhere here. So what we would do here is we would split it out. Uh, we go to this side and then we use underground belts to bring it over. to the system underground all right so that works and then we add these inserters back in 
Okay, wrongly located. Great. Should be located like that. Like that. So we bring those items uh, a different way. So uh, it has more room for the items to go through. So now let's fix this one. This side. First place the furnaces down. Oh, not in myself. Just place them down. Don't have enough furnaces to do this. Need a few more. Just to get that iron plate stacked up quite a lot. Let's grab you. Put it in one of these chests. This one is not empty fully. Put another chest down. Fill that. Get you in there. And then uh, we also would do is make this deep. Because then we could do that. We need more of you because we need more furnaces. Furnaces. Furnai, furnaces. I don't know. Oh, that's it. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or something more. So let's make more. More is always better. Can we fix this? I don't think so. Yeah, I've removed this kind of stuff, but I don't mind that. Make more of them. How is the belt going out? Iron doesn't have great enough input to keep up with the demand. It's that easy to spot problems. This one is junk. Then we have these power poles. Uh, we should place them down. And then we create a little bit more copper. Until the point that copper cannot handle it, the amount that's being pulled out of the belt. And that's fine. And also I'm gonna add one of those weird ground thingies right here. That I told you on the iron one. Because I cannot compress a belt fully with this design. I might want to change some things around later on. But for now, well, it doesn't really matter. Also what I want to do. While we add it. Make a, a balancer right here. Let's do it like that. So, and then I will come also here. So you can see these I, these don't do anything. But if I change this one, go right and then go up. But the items will get now uh, being thrown something somewhere else, and it would work. It would start working later slowly. Just wait a little bit about it. And then we'll place them down, and then they would work. Also, this is a little bit stacked up in here. So we need to also up the iron ore production. And I was thinking about grabbing that to the other side and then fixing it. Because this is just one big mess to work with. So we do that. And then we add... Um, we're gonna combine it right here a little bit. To combine it. And then we can change this around that. And we're also going to add another time. Like that. And then uh, an underground belt going the other way. Uh, the other side. And then we can add mining drills right here just to mine this place out. Uh, somewhere close to there. Like there. Nope. There. Fine. And then, mm, how to do that? Probably like this. No, I want to go this just to make sure that we could grab a lot of the things, thingamajigs. And then we go down here, something like that. I don't know. And combine you, combine you, and you. No, this could be way better, this area. Like that. This should be one lower then. It's a little bit of shame because we really need to do like this kind of stuff to get that working. And if it works, it works. And if it adds a little bit more horse to the belt, why not? I mean, well, we don't have to move this for quite a while, so 
Although it's middle in the base and it's pretty annoying, it's also really nice. The this power setup is not catching on with the coal apparently, so I'm just gonna add a few more lines of coal to try to get it working again to be balanced enough that it will start backing up. It's what's now happening is this one is yeah, this one is get, getting emptied and that's not what we want. We want that to be full at all times. So I'm gonna change that around. Also what we could do is add some way to add things from here to there. We need some. Can we make that? Yeah, let's make some. So what we do is not a complete stable circuit, it doesn't matter. We do that and we say to you, we say, well, read the contents and hold it. And you put this to the closest pull available, like there, it's eight. it's eight. So if call, what's that? Used uranium fuel cell, all right. It makes more sense. Uh, call, call, if call is like eight, is bigger than no it's called bigger than seven then it will go to this side and that will let it go up and release the, this core into this to the backup system but only when this is backed up that's a pretty neat system at the moment let's see how the signals does so signals switch from seven to eight when it is seven it will all right all right that, that works it's putting a lot of coal onto the belt. Oh, my ears are starting to irritate me. I'm sorry, my apologies. So, like you, and then let me combine it and we can do left and right. So now it needs it right here, it needs more coal. So it's not going to put it on this side. And then it has some left. And So if this is backing up, it should be putting it into the left side. But it seems like it's not uh balance enough so what we should do is get a balancer so it's only the one of the two sides apparently so what we could do is just do something like this and hopefully the burner inserter can handle it so if you can remove this could it handle it yeah you can pick from that place so now it balance it better and this one these are all working nicely together to generate a lot of stuff and how's the power doing? We are almost out of power, but the backup system is completely full because even while it's stealing from the bells, we are backing it up. So even while this is filling, we are backing it up. For the iron ore, we don't get enough in, so we need more iron ore to be made. How to add that? If we just do like this and then add another system here or something, I don't know. This is not working, that's not working. This is the lowest we can get with iron. So we can add a few more, but not much. Okay, but if a few is a few, you know. As long as it's providing something, it will be fine. I just like it, you cannot replace the small electric poles with the new electric poles and that kind of stuff. It would be awesome if they would add that. Which you cannot do that right now. As you can see where I will show you that, that the small electric poles cannot be changed to the big ones. Although I don't see why not. Would make more sense. Would make more sense to me if it would work. We already have the train networks before we start working on oil. You know. Well, <sighs> copper is also not doing fully. Is more because of the amount of things that they are here. No way is copper fully. No, copper is not full. We should add a few more copper lines. And for that, we need to add one more thing. We cannot do that. So, for this one, what we should do is really stupid. And then run an underground belt from this place to this place and then add it to the other side of the belt. And then we would add a few 
more copper things. I would love to mine this place out a little bit more. Just to make sure that I can grab the iron better later on. Um, could we do it like that? I don't know. I never tried that. I don't know why I would try that. But if it works, it's nice. And it seems like it's working, so... Jose, I guess. Uh, what, the reason why I didn't connect it to here because that would uh, contaminate uh, how the belt is. What I wanted to do is add it to this side so it's it's filling the belt completely. So it's filling the belt completely on this side. And now it's also trying to do that on the other side. So that's better. And we're pulling only copper ore out of it. That's good. And we should get a full belt of copper. Yeah, this seems really full and it seems backing up here, so that means good things. And then uh, half of it goes in this way, half there. And this one is looking like it's starting to back up slowly, but not enough. So it needs a little bit more, it needs a little bit push to that last final bit to get a full belt out of it. To that last final bit, do you get that last bit? that out of it. And if you change this around. And do it like this. And I'm pretty sure we can do that because this will make sure that this side of the belt is always full. Oh, we can research more stuff. Bullet damage. Research. Advanced circuit. How does that work? Oh, we can see more tutorials. So we can play a tutorial about advanced real circuits. In this situation, the second sign train blocks. Second sign train block. Train junction. So the red train cannot continue going through the station. Oh, well, that's of course that's right. Continue. Yes. Mhm. Mm All right. Oh, I should do that. All oh, this cool from of this tutorial. Alright, continue. Alright, alright, so that's nice. Build signals. Just. Fine, go. Alright, this is quite easy to do. He is putting real signals on that every start, and you press to run the trains. It's not that easy. It's not that hard, you know. Oh, signal. The things are getting bigger. Real signals, right? Uh, wait there. Oh, you wait there. There. How to move to the other side? It's one way to do it. Yield. Way to do it. You and there. You're in the trains. Did I do them all? It's like dancing, you know. Oh, let's let's quit. Come quit. Quit tutorial. All right. Let's fantasy a little bit before we end this episode. <laughs> How is Iron, by the way, doing? Worse than ever? Nah, it's still fine. I uh, know. I mean, um, steel. Is Iron or it is great? Steel is the worst part in the it's bottleneck probably. It's bottlenecking. Is it bottlenecking? Where do we need steel? Need it right here. Yeah, it's bottlenecking. It's stopping the production of that stuff. Although we have enough of that. We just don't get enough iron plates in here. Fast enough, I guess. So if we change those to big better ones. Great more better ones please. Grab more bad ones, slow ones and then put the good ones in good position so let's see are they really the bottleneck? probably they are because it takes a long time to fill in all those iron plates and 
things. And if it's 10 uh, things, yeah, that's really the bottleneck. It's coming close to it if you do it like that. And you don't work because you have a copper plate in your hand and you cannot pay place the copper plate down. Go make more. Let's see if we can do enough. So it could do it does eight and it thinks it's enough or something. Oh it doesn't have enough iron. For once redraining the iron again. <laughs> like always. You know. But uh, like always, uh, thank you guys for watching this episode, and I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you see you next time. Have a nice day again, and goodbye! <laughs>